Okay, this is my first attempt at stable flight. Um, and when I say my first attempt, I mean it's going to be my first of many, many attempts to get stable flight because um, this is uh, quite challenging. Um, I'm starting from scratch, so I want to I want to write the code myself to um, to try and get it to hover stably. But um, so what I've got now is <laughs> I've got this little weight here stabilizing the or basically absorbing vibration to the um, to the IMU, which is the the sensor which is me measuring the um, the pitch and the roll and the yaw and that sort of stuff. And then what happens is, is now I've written the code so that those um, values then get translated into appropriate um, uh, rotor uh, trims of what I've called. So basically, you, you trim each motor by each rotor by a certain amount. So basically, if it starts to um, if it starts to basically roll this way, um, or you know roll like that, you then decrease power to this rotor and increase power to this rotor to attempt to stabilize. Um, and when the when the quad is is flat and you reset it, you um, uh, it records the, the the target value. So it measures the the values from the um, uh, from the gyro and the accelerometer, and it you records those as a base value. So then when it's trying to 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 fly, it it, it tries to aim for those values um, to basically get you know maintain stability but it you know it doesn't work but I thought I'd demonstrate um, what happens because it looks kind of funny when it tries to stabilize itself and doesn't work so um, yeah let's power up okay right so differences in the remote control um, this is now just a throttle up and this is the throttle down um, that's it, I'm not controlling um, any of the rotors independently anymore, the rotors are now controlled by the um, by the processor and um, what happens is when I press this button this resets everything, all the throttles back down to zero and it also records base values for um, from the gyro so that, so that the, the processor knows which values to to aim for when trying to stabilize um, you know it's it's it's, it's a theory um, that didn't go so well but this is what happens okay so at minimum throttle now um, now what I've done I've, I've, I've also set a maximum trim uh, or threshold if you like so that it can't apply more than seven percent power um, to each rotor to to trim itself to, to stabilize itself because I found that any more than that it would just try and go out of control so I'm going gra to gradually increase power and just see if it achieves stability it's trying it's trying thing is I've also um, yeah it's trying and then it when it let's give it some more throttle shall we Now I think the problem is it's actually overcompensating. Um, as you can see there, it's jumping all over the place. Essentially overcompensating, trying to trim um, for the values in the gyro. But so I think I need to refine my code a little bit. In fact, what I might need to do is adjust the, the, the trim threshold, the higher the higher throttle that we are, so that the more the more 
the throttle, the, the, the smaller the trim values, because it, it's just dancing out of control. One of the propellers got caught there, so I've had to shut down. But that's um, that's just a demonstration of my first attempt at stable flight, and then there's probably going to be many more.